So in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can use the cumulative distribution function f of x to find the median and quartiles of a probability density function. So, we're going to look at my um, diagrams. We'll know from previous work that with our probability density functions, um, the area under the curve comes to 1, and we should also, well, what we're introducing on this particular video is that the median value will be within the range a and b, the um, values from which x exists, x exists between b and a, and um, m will be such that the probability that we're less than m is 0 0.5, probably the probability greater than is also 0 0.5. So, um, and that's what I've stated here, f of m equals the probability that x is less than equal to m equals a half. So, suppose we're given the, uh, we were given the cumulative distribution function as 1 over 24 times x squared plus x minus 6, and we're told that x exists between 2 and 5, not otherwise. Um, if I want to find the median, or the lower quartile, let's start with the median, I know then that f of m, um, I replace um, x with m, I form a quadratic equation in M set equal to a half to start with. Uh, we then multiply through by 24. So you'll see that my 24 disappears on the left, and 24 over, um, times a half gives me 12. I then bring the 12 over to the left-hand side to form a quadratic equation. Um, let's move that up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, equal to zero. So this is back to sort of GCSE work. Um, state what A, B, and C are. Drop into the quadratic formula. And then you will get two solutions coming out. I've sort of done the work here. So we get x equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 73 over 2. And the only answer that's within the range 2 and 5 to one decimal place is 3.8. So 3.8 is your median value. Now if I wanted to solve the problem um, to find the lower quartile, I would have simply set f of m equal to 0.25 and solved a different quadratic equation, so the method would have been exactly the same, except for the equal a quarter instead of equal a half. And similarly, if I was trying to find the upper quartile, then I would have set f of m equal to 0.75 for the upper quartile. So that's how you use the cumulative distribution to find the median and quartiles.